right, super excited to announce that today we launched, I think, is the most badass feature in Go Hunt Maps history. It's called historical imagery. So what that's gonna allow you to do is basically look back in time, different seasons, different months, different years, get the exact date of when that image is taken on satellite imagery all across the United States. So I really use this a lot in burned areas, trying to find glassing areas with open cover. If you're a whitetail hunter, you can use it for leaf off coverage as well. There's so many different use cases. Snow, snowpack, uh, like I said, wildfires, all sorts of different things you can do to make your e-scouting efforts that much better. And I absolutely guarantee it's gonna be one of those features that I'm gonna be using constantly because I wanna know what that imagery looks like during certain months. How's it look from August to October when I'm gonna go hunting? How can I find those hidden gem little water seeps in the mountains? And it's very easy just to toggle back and forth on different imagery dates on your e-scouting when you're doing your web research to try to plan your hunt. Use this tool, you will have a better season. Using historical imagery on Go Hunt Maps is actually super, super easy. So this is a web only based application. Reason being, gotta use a big screen when you're e-scouting. It's a lot easier to see, you know, little small details when looking at a map so you can drop waypoints and just really get a better picture of what you're actually looking at through your e-scouting effort. So jump over to Go Hunt Maps. Once you got Go Hunt Maps open, you'll see there's a little black toolbar on the left. Fourth icon down is a historical imagery icon. Click that, a little box will pop up. So this is your historical imagery uh, tool. So you'll see it has um, oldest imagery on the left with an arrow going left, newest imagery is on the right. Right below that is date, and that's gonna be your capture date of the image. So the capture date is based on a cursor, which is in the center of the screen. And then you can also scroll around your map and tap your mouse to actually see exactly um, where the imagery is for that date. So just scroll through it. Right now you can see I have my maps open. The date of this imagery is July 11th of 2020. As I go back in time, you see the imagery change. So now I have September 24th of 2014, September 21st, 2015, August 16th, 2011. And as I get all the way back down, imagery just keeps changing, the dates goes back. And what I really wanna to mention too is as you're zooming in and zooming out, you might get a little bit more imagery based on the area you're at. So you could have less as you're zoomed out and as you zoom in, you might have a little bit more. Imagery dates are gonna be changing depending on the area you're looking at. But for most of the time, it's, you know, recent imagery. Sometimes you've seen all the way back to like 1999. You get a big wide array of images to check out. Another really good tip too, is I like sometimes diving back into time on the historical imagery slider because sometimes that imagery is actually a little bit higher quality in the area I'm looking at or the you know, satellite imagery that was taken has a little bit different shade or not really shade, but orientation of the shadows. And I'm actually be able to see into that mountain a little bit better, find those water sources, just learn more about that unit just by changing that imagery date. So I will just go through and change the imagery date for an area I'm looking at, and then just start panning around right now, looking at these images, going back to some newer stuff or jumping back to older, older data just to see what I can see differently. So the biggest benefit of me is just looking at the imagery in different areas where I'm trying to e-scout, whether it's in the mountains out west, in the Midwest looking at whitetails, or way across the uh, other side of the country on the east coast. So this is gonna help you so much when you're trying to find you know, places to hunt, places to e-scout, places to even research when you're trying to get tags. And this is one of the things that I'm most excited about and our launch of you know, Go Hunt Map stuff this year is historical imagery. And I guarantee you guys, you jump in or you use it, you're gonna find some hidden gems you never really knew before because you're looking at the mountain differently. You're looking at all that terrain in a different image date, season date, month, year, that sort of thing. So definitely check it out today.